A lot of folks like to talk about escape when it comes to Journey, and we did that with Jonathan Cain. But what about going into the next album, Frontiers? We asked him all about that. This is John Bowden from Rock History Music. So we asked him about Escape and its follow-up, Frontiers. We've already touched on, of course, the album, Escape, but I'm kind of curious because the album after that, two years later, Frontiers, was kind of your, since Escape was your first, it was really your sophomore album with Journey. Both with the babies and Journey, you kind of joined those bands midstream. Tell me about the expectation or or what led to you guys just gelling together to make Frontiers. I, you know, after touring with the Escape album and, and, the, and using the Infinity and Evolution, all those songs, you know, we were putting a nice mix together of all of them back in 81, 82. I realized we were missing some things, you know, little little things that, and one of the things that I, I wrote when I was out there with, with Steve was Separate Ways. And we inserted that song in the show and, you know, it gave the show a whole other dimension. And then we started thinking, well, there's probably some more we can do, you know. So we, we kind of went with that as our, you know, benchmark. And, and we added, you know, like Chain Reaction. And, it, you know, albums are like a snapshot of where you are at the time, you know. And we were kind of in this futuristic direction, kind of prog rock in a little bit. You heard the song Frontiers, it's very progressive rock, you know. Like, where's one, you know, <laughs> that song. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was fun. That was very synth oriented. We had, you know, Mike Stone done a terrific job with the sound of it. <clears throat> but no, there's a great story in the book about advice from Joe Montana, you know, and being the 49er faithful at the time and having the 49ers coming to our shows. I had to ask the Golden Boy how he was going to approach the next season after the Super Bowl. And he gave me the advice and it's in the book. And, you know, it's, it's a, it's a classic answer, you know? Um, so I, I was surrounded by great people. I, I feel that the journey was similar to the 49ers and they drafted me, you know, they drafted Steve Smith and they pulled me in and we sort of retooled the whole thing and, and off we go, you know? I'm going to ask you a silly question, but if someone would have whispered in your ear that you were going to be writing your memoirs when you were, I don't know, a kid or something, what would your reaction have been? Could you see this ever? Oh, man. Probably not. Uh, it's hard. I mean, back in the in 82 when Steve and I were, you know, 83, we were sitting there writing Frontiers, the Beatles were making that resurgence, you know, 30 years later and, and with their with their catalog. And they're like, God, wouldn't it be cool if, it, if, if we lasted that long? You know, not only is our catalog, the catalog lasted, but we're still performing, you know, and, and playing in, in you know stadiums and arenas. So it's pretty mind boggling. And, um, you know, it's just a testimony to the music being being solid. You know, and we did some good things. We stayed in our lane. We kept our, our, person, our personality, our character of our music remained, you know, and, and it remains in relevant today, with the, even with the kids, you know. After being with the babies, Jonathan, how, how was it for you joining Journey? Was there a transition there? What did it feel like? It was an honor to walk into that, you know, real blessing. I still feel like it was kind of a divine intervention to land in the Journey camp and to be asked to change the sound of Journey and to be asked to, you know, sort of rework it a little bit and, and update it. It was, um, I hadn't watched the band and the babies, you know, for the whole tour. I sat out there and watched their show listen to their set every night, just about every night, um, I kind of knew what what they needed, the pieces that were missing. And they received, you know, what I brought to the table. Jonathan Cain's brand new memoir is called Don't Stop Believing." It's in stores now. You can also pick it up via the links in the description of this video. We'll have another video in the next couple of days. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos, and visit our swag store. We're trying to raise some funds to expand this channel. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music.